day trading strategies. Today, I'm going to explain how to prevent your account from getting chopped up. This is one of the biggest problems I hear from day traders is they say, you know, I'm getting my account chopped up and it's because you get into choppy markets. So for example, let's look what happens here today. Market gaps up, comes back down. And now as we go forward, I'm just going to go forward bar by bar. And by the way, this uh, moving average here is a 15 EMA. I just thought I'd put it on there because it kind of smooths the price action. And it, it gives you a good feel for the overall presence of the market and the price action. So as you can see, that 15 EMA is just going sideways. And then price goes back up and then price comes back down. Then price goes back up and price comes back down. <laughs> so this is exactly what I'm talking about. This kind of stuff. So look at our time here. We have about two, more than two hours of just chop of sideways movement. And if the market doesn't go through, uh, and break out to the new highs, new lows, doesn't go anywhere, you can't make any money. So if the market doesn't go anywhere, then your trading account can't go anywhere. This is what we want to avoid. We want to avoid this type of price action. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do it, but I'm going to share with you my favorite day trading strategy to avoid this kind of chop. The technique that we're going to use, the strategy we're going to use, is instead of using time-based bars, so this is a three minute chart over here, three minute bars, each bar lasts for three minutes. And the problem with a time based bar is that it's only significance is that it, it is forced to last a certain period of time, regardless of price action, regardless of volume, regardless of the supply demand of the market, as opposed to over here, we have what we call tick bars. Now, in this context, actually, let's put it down here where you can see it better. A tick is a trade. So a thousand tick bar means that each candlestick, each bar will last for 1000 trades. So what it's doing is it's accounting for the trade action going through the market, not just the time. And what that does there is it creates a more um, symmetrical pattern based on the trading that's actually occurring. So you get more choppy action when you force the bars just to uh, form based on the amount of time than you do. You get more symmetrical patterns. In other words, actually, let me um, pull this up. You'll get more symmetrical patterns like this when the price is, or the bars are being created by the trades, the number of trades going through. And therefore it gives you these more sine wave type patterns where we can get into a retrace in a trend here. So for example, let's see, this comes in here between 725 and 727. So, and what we got here is is basically this. <laughs> All right. So there's nothing really here, right? It's just, again, we're in this chop. Boom, 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 boom. But here we have a nice sine wave pattern. Another thing it will do, by the way, which is hugely important, is it will create more narrow range bars generally. And so that means if I'm entering on the retrace and the trend, and I'm going to enter, say, down here to go short, and my stop goes up here, this is a much more narrow range than using these wider range bars and therefore keeps my risk smaller. And it gives me the patterns that are not choppy. And that's the whole key because the bars are formed when trades go through the price formation is created by the trading activity. So in a, market where there's not much activity, not many trades going through, it will not form new bars. It will not form new bars. And that helps keep you out of choppy markets. Here's an extra little pro tip for you. When I use tick bars like this, I include pre-market data. 
So I'm in California, so the market opens here at 6.30, but we have pre-market data, especially on the futures like this. And so I include that as well. As you can see here, I, I include all the data that I can get. Now, when we look at this, we see again that we have a retrace in the trend. So price comes down, we get a retrace back to the 15 EMA and down she goes. And look how early this occurs right after the open. So literally within the first minute of the open and I get a trade. Whereas if I go over here to the uh, three minute chart, then what do we got in the first minute? We got really not much going on, right? There's nothing really to trade there. So what, what do we do? We do nothing. It's kind of hard to know what to do. So boom, got a trade right away and we're out of the gate. So actually I end up getting more trades and these tick charts than I do on the time-based bars. Personally, I only day trade tick charts now. I do not trade time-based bars. I find that they're too choppy and I get more trades and I get lower risk and I get better patterns. The other thing that you'll want to do is again, when you're looking at this, I'm always trading the oscillations. So I'm looking for cycle low, cycle high, cycle low, and I'm, I'm buying or I'm shorting cycle highs and I'm buying cycle lows, but only in the direction of the trend. So in a downtrend, I'm shorting a cycle high. If the market was in an uptrend, then I'd be buying a cycle low. And that has to do with the time of the oscillations of the market. So if you want to get that, I have that indicator, by the way, it's a common indicator that I have modified top talk trading modification to it. So it'll work on any trading platform you've seen. I call it my market timing indicator. I give it away for free now and um, go ahead and go to indicatorwebinar.com where you can not only get the indicator set up on your charts, I show you how to do it, but also how to trade it. Again, an indicator by itself is useless unless you know how to use it. And that's why I created a uh, tutorial on it and it's absolutely free. And I've recorded it so that you can watch it whenever it's convenient for you. So go check it out. Also, by the way, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when more wonderful videos come out for you.